Yeah, and our next and final speaker is Oleg, uh, director of Eastern Europe BlackBerry, and he will uh, be, will be online and tell tell story about cybersecurity and AI ML. Okay, Oleg, are you there? Ah, we don't hear you. Please say something. Hello, everyone. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we can hear you now. Please go on. Good afternoon, everyone. All right. Do you see my slides on the screen as well? Yes. OK. So the title slide applied AI and ML cybersecurity is on. All right. Yes. So yes. I can start. Yeah, go on. Okay. Okay. Um, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Oleg Orlov. I am Viz Blackberry and have responsibility for uh, 26 countries in Eastern Europe for Blackberry uh, software and solutions uh, um, uh, uh, services. Um, we are here today to discuss adopting uh, artificial intelligence and uh, machine learning prevention first strategy that can allow organizations to realize savings, not only by keeping um, this uh, uh, your business out of the news, but actually some uh, save business uh, quite a bit of money. The reactive detect and respond paradigm that we had seen uh, for many years continued not only um, into the next generation of antivirus products, but also in the new generation solu solutions such as um, EDR and XDR. EDR stands for Extended uh, Endpoint Detection and Response, and XDR is Extended Version of EDR. Um, the cost of reactive strategy is massive, uh, not necessarily the software cost itself. It's the specifically trained staff required to properly install, tune, and operate that dominates the budget and in most cases, this is in addition to your existing endpoint protection products. This situation will only continue to get worse unless different a prevention first strategy is adopted. Few words about BlackBerry. BlackBerry has a long history connecting and securing endpoints. Most people know BlackBerry as a, a smartphone manufacturer, uh, but it was not just the devices, our client and backend software was always top-notch security. And we have a security reputation for many, many years, strong security reputation for many years. Uh, we have exited a hardware business quite a few years ago. Uh, the competition in retail market was very strong and the small companies like Google and Apple have engaged with us. So uh, today, BlackBerry focus only on cybersecurity uh, solutions for enterprise, uh, government, and IoT. Along this transition, we have made major software companies acquisitions. Uh, for example, QNX is a real-time operating system that is used in the embedded systems. Most famous one is Automotive. BlackBerry software, QNX software, is in 500 million cars today. So there is a high chance that you have it in your car as well, and you don't know it. We continue to be strong in government space with seven out of seven G7 governments being our clients. In 2019, we made the major acquisition, the biggest acquisition to date. We bought a company called Silence for $1.5 billion. This was the key investment in AI-based security. Okay, um, why do we invest in silence? Uh, this is sort of a gl global snapshot of the cybersecurity challenges today. There is more than 100 million pieces of malware released each year into the wild. There is a 300% increase in cyber crimes year over year, 39 seconds between new hacking attempts, 97% cyber attacks are at the endpoint. 
60% users targeted by cyber attacks. So it's not a question whether I'm going to get uh, attacked. It's a question of when. 70% companies use bring your own devices, which makes the security, uh, managing security of the infrastructure even ever more difficult. And during the pandemic, that has increased uh, quite a bit. 79% users use security workarounds. If your employees do not like the security tools you provide, they will start to use something else. I think uh, extremely popular WhatsApp and other messengers is a good example of, of how users uh, do the workarounds. But my favorite read are really the last two ones. One million daily security alerts seen in 25% of security operation centers. Just think about it. 25% of SOCs worldwide have more than 1 million daily alerts about something wrong is going on. 4 million cybersecurity skills gap globally is another major problem. So if you take this too and you say, how do I manage this? Talking about the industry standard reactive approach, cybersecurity solution uh, operate on the model of the knowns, known malware, known attack techniques, and even known attackers. This known require vendors to collect samples and indicators of compromise. Where did this come from? Names are in the news. It comes from victims of the cyber attacks. Once these knowns are gathered, they are triaged. Some are examined manually by researchers or automation. Then they can be published into the cloud reputation repositories and the new signatures and EDR, XDR rules are built. After that, these become your problem. You must have the systems in place to automatically update, test, and tune, then deploy the antidote, these new signatures and rules. When this is all done, you can detect yesterday's attacks and techniques. The entire process will start all over again when every new sample of malware, and by the way, currently there is more than 400,000 released each day, or a new attacker with the new techniques gets discovered. Utilizing this reactive model forces us to live in the detect and respond world, where we are also hunting our environments for indicators and dealing with the after effects of cyber effect, uh, attack. In 2012, a company named Silence was founded by ex McAfee employees who knew the only way to succeed against attackers is to predict their actions and actively prevent them before they cause problems. After the 2019 acquisition of Silence, BlackBerry continues to drive this entirely different approach and deliver the Silence AI technology to every endpoint imaginable. We build cybersecurity software that predict and prevent cyber attacks using artificial intelligence. BlackBerry has more patents of using AI to prevent cyber attacks than anyone else. Without AI, uh, everything is reactive. We're gonna look at the example of Colonial Pipeline. Colonial Pipeline is a major uh, oil and gas pipeline operation in the East Coast of the United States. In the case of the Colonial Pipeline attack, begins on May 6, where the valid user credentials were used to access the corporate VPN. Sensitive corporate data begins to be exfiltrated. On May 2nd, the first dark side ransomware messages begin popping up and the pipeline is shut down. That the same day, reactive cycle of security vendors obtaining malware samples and IOCs, indicators of compromise from victims begin. After five days, the pipeline resumes operation, but the damage has already been done. The multi-million dollar damage to the business operation and also the, uh, uh, the company went on record saying that the ransomware 
to the tune of $5 million was paid to the criminals. Now, everyone is left dealing with the cost and resource destructions of updating, scanning, and hunting for the dark side attack. With ransomware as a service, nearly every new attack yields new samples that have never been seen before. When the news broke on May 7th, we tested the Silence AI model um, in our current version of Protect to determine that it is successfully preventing a large collection of the dark sum run ransomware. And it did the job. We then tested our model released in October of 2020. It too predicted the prevented and prevented dark side. The same occurred when we tested our models of 2017 and 2016. In fact, we went all the way back to our model released in October of 2015. It too predicted and um, uh, prevented the samples, the malware samples, which were issued for the first time in 2021. All of our silence AI models accurately predicted and prevented dark side, uh, dark side files created over five years after one of our oldest models. BlackBerry customers were proactively protected from dark side for over 67 months, about five and a half years. We call this our predictive advantage. It is the amount of time our silence AI can predict an, atta uh, an attack before it occurs. Prediction, prediction equals prevention. This advantage allows you to proactively defend yourself against current and future attacks. In September 2020, the UHS hospital system was hit with the variant of the REIC ransomware. BlackBerry's testing shows REIC was predicted and prevented by Silence AI about 40 months prior to the attack. The Irish healthcare attack in May 2021 was hit uh, with the Conti ransomware. Our predictive advantage was over 67 months. BlackBerry predictive advantage over reveal ransomware used to attack G, uh, JBS in June 2021 was also over 44 months. Each of these examples and thousands more like them were preventable incidents using BlackBerry solution. The best way to illustrate how BlackBerry predictive advantage works is to experience it in action. Here is a short recorded demo. This demonstration system uh, uh, has the old 2015 version of Silence Protect client. To see the predictive advantage, we must use old software with no updates. We are showing this old unsupported version only to visualize the predictive advantage. It is easy to show how the BlackBerry predictive advantage works by subjecting our 2015 version to a modern, modern ransomware samples. You simply grab, uh, grab a bunch of them, Conti, DarkSign, uh, Reveal, and copy them to our desktop. Whether a human or a process tries to execute them, we can quickly see that Protect is stepping in and is blocking this file execution. We can continue attempting to execute all we want. Protect is predicting and preventing any of the samples from running with its pre-execution prevention. In the background, Protect has queued up all these files uh, for low and slow background scan. And within just a few seconds, all these files are going to be quarantined and, quarantined and disappear. As you can see here, this is because of silence artificial intelligence inside Protect that determined that those files are going to be malicious and Protect is not going to let them run. I will challenge you to take your existing antivirus software that you use inside your company solution today, uh, which is week, months, or a year old, and test it against new malware samples. Good luck with that.
When you have a solution that is truly based on AI, you can reallocate resources to help grow the business rather than burdening them with direct results of a cyber attack like recovering systems and files or sifting through a million of events looking for indicators of compromise. You can remove many of traditional resource distractions like on-premises infrastructure required to roll out the software and signature updates. In fact, you no longer need to burden your users and computers with constant updates. You no longer need to impact user and cloud productivity with recurrent scans because the new update has new signature and must rescan every file on the system. You no longer need to make sure that every endpoint has a constant and reliable internet connection. Every cybersecurity solution in the world today says they have artificial intelligence. But if that solution also requires you to carry the baggage of their 20 plus years of bolted on technology, like gigs of signature, sandboxing, heuristic rules and infrastructure, then their AI is not up to the task of keeping you safe. 50 milliseconds, this is all it takes for our solution to realize new never seen uh, malware uh, trying to attack your system. This is how efficient the system is. And very important point, which we'll stress a couple times again, we can do this job without being connected to the cloud. The AI works locally on the endpoint. Over the past decade, the security industry has essentially given up on, on preventing cyber attacks. Despite the results that show AV vendors continue having 100% detection test after test, in the real world, we find that traditional antivirus is about 30-40% effective at preventing zero-day cyber attacks. Zero-day meaning first time seen. This leaves a huge gap of 60-70% where industry analysts say the most important capability is instrumentation and visibility into the events occurring after the bridge, also known as EDR. In this traditional reactive approach, you'll need to stack off products in the presentation space and products in the EDR space. This BlackBerry prevention first approach, BlackBerry Protect and Optics work together in the same console to provide better than 99% prevention and automatically having the forensic events and data readily available in a very unlikely uh, event uh, attack slips through. So just look at the, the difference in terms of how much AI is doing what currently is being done not very successfully by the humans. At the core is BlackBerry Protect, our AI-based pre-execution prevention, which is where the predictive advantage is realized, combined with proactive memory exploit protection that prevents the exploitation of memory that is sometimes tied to vulnerability in software. Protect also includes advanced fileless attacks prevention by inspecting and terminating malicious documents. It can see the malicious use of PowerShell, JavaScript, VB macros, .NET and Python scripts, which are most often used in the early stages of targeted cyber attack. Building on top of BlackBerry Protect is BlackBerry Optics. Optic is a prevention first behavioral detection and auto respond product that uses AI based and behavioral rules to detect and respond automatically within milliseconds, whether the device has internet connectivity or not. Optics can detect and automatically respond within milliseconds by terminating offending processes, logging out malicious users, or even isolating suspicious systems. It can also respond with programs and scripts that replicate incident response playbook actions and have all the needed forensic data gathered, secured, and ready when humans need to look for evidence. Its focus on gathering security relevant data and keeps analysts focus on the data that events uh, and data and events that matter. Like Protect, Optics can operate completely offline, detecting and responding without any connections to BlackBerry. When connected to the internet, 
Optics offers the longest forensic cloud storage in the industry. With our prevention first strategy, the primary goal of Optics is to prevent the breach even earlier in the attack kill chain. Protecting optics yield better than 99% effectiveness against zero day cyber attacks, focusing on pre-execution malware prevention, but also includes memory script device application protection and optics providing earlier uh, in the kill chain prevention by auto responding to malicious users and programs behavior combined with forensic event and data visibility. Simple to set up and use, set it and forget. There is no deployment training required to learn normal behavior. Flexible deployment options include add and protect to your existing EPP solution. Add to see what it might have been missing all along. Bring your own EDR optics, provide EDR, but you can continue to use what you might already have in place. Our solutions over the, offer the best performance in the industry, given the end users back the performance of their computers Reduce cloud spend because there is no need to fire up via virtual machines just to get updates to do some recurrent scans. Add more than 20% of VM per physical server due to Blackboard reduced footprint. Experience no more IO storms due to constant file scanning. Lastly, all of it works 100% offline. BlackBerry provides the best prevention at the lowest TCO. Our customers love our solution because it allows them to dedicate their scarce resources where it really matters, growing their own business. The CISO of one of the largest healthcare systems in the United States commented, protect is great. And because it works as advertised, my budget is one quarter of what my peers spent who use other solutions. BlackBerry technology combined with our expert advice can help you solve your cybersecurity challenges. We are the only cybersecurity company to offer industry leading AI based prevention uh, uh, and uh, can stop the breaches before they progress. Prevention is possible and it can save more than your brand. Um, so at this point, my presentation is over. I hope there are questions and I will be happy to answer them. Yeah, <clears throat> thank you, Oleg. Yes, we have a questions while we have, yeah. We'll provide mic, please switch it on it, uh, Emils. Hey, uh, hey, thank you very much for the presentation, Oleg. Um, I have a two part question. One is, uh, have you tested uh, this system against uh, AI-driven attacks? And uh, the second part is uh, maybe what do you see as the uh, challenges or obstacles in the future for, uh, for this AI protection? Thank you. Right. Well, um, I am on the management sales side of the equation. So we have the analyst group that can potentially answer your question, but what I do of the first part question, but what I do know is that the uh, cyber criminals, especially state sponsored uh, cyber criminals, and the list is, is quite known about the countries who involve in, in state sponsored cyber terrorism, they do use AI uh, as part of their offensive tactic. So I think the use of the AI on both sides of the equation is going to increase. Uh, but in terms of how effective it is, it's a good question. AI against AI is, is, a, is, a, is an interesting hypothetical battle, but uh, you know, I can't uh, you know, talk about it in details. Um, some of my analysts may have a much better answer to that, but um, I would have to take it offline and my email address is available from the organizer, so please use it. In terms of challenges, I think uh, short term, um, the challenge uh, is the recognition that uh, AI is actually a better tool to deal with this kind of problem. 
So instead of deploying a lot of sensors and video cameras and then watching your business go in flames, which is a current reactor approach, uh, m uh, most companies still struggle with the acceptance of the, uh, of the new technology. Going forward, um, I, I think if, if you're just interested in the, in the tech bit of it, we are on the seventh generation of the model. It had uh, uh, terabytes and terabytes of data uh, thrown at it for the last seven years. So the model is very, very mature. So I think there is only a bright future for this technology going forward. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm not the top expert to, to give you the, the, the more detailed answers. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much, Oleg, uh, for, for uh, this insightful presentation on cybersecurity. Uh, for sure, it will be a very important topic uh, in next years, too. Thank you very much for attending our conference. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed uh, today's sessions and see you next year. <laughs>